complete side video. Since the Daytons are now ruined and destroyed, I'm going to describe real quick how you could tell them apart from the uh, new crappy ones. First, the uh, actual grill will bezel in. You'll actually, it's smaller by about an eighth inch on either side. The other one goes almost flush to the side. So that's the best way to tell immediately. The finish on the older ones is a little bit duller. The new ones seem a bit shiny. On the back, the uh, one of the most surefire ways, this clip is a horizontal clip on the new one. So you can look at that, it's an oval horizontal clip. These spring clips on the old ones like this are quality. That's, the other ones are shit. And we go to the actual exposed speaker. Phillips head screws instead of the you know, hex key screws that are on the new ones. Um, the inside tweeter is a little bit more amber colored versus pure silver. And this rubber surround around the six and a half is segmented with uh, notches on the new one. And this one is a solid. And the uh, actual mounting system for the front, this uses the ball mounts, the other one uses just peg mounts, and the little things they mounted look like absolute crap. So that's how you can tell if you have old ones like this, this is the good one. Round dome versus a flat dome. They changed the tweeter, they changed the resistor, the speakers aren't as good. They're bad. They're bad. They're just so bad. These. These are now worth three times whatever you paid for them if you have this type, the old type. My god.